In today's video, I'm going to share five ways to make Divi fast. All right, so let's start off with number one. Now, when a lot of people start working on their website, usually they go into the builder here, like as I'm doing right now, you go in there, let's say you want to add a text module. So I'm going to come in here, add my text. They would come over here like that. And then they'll go straight into the design and make some changes to the text. So this is quite easy. I'm sure most of you know how to do this. You'd come over here, maybe increase the size to about 18, save that. And maybe uh, at some point you also want to add a bit more text. So you'd come over here, add another module. So let's say this is a text module again. So you'd come over here. And this time you want to go back in here, go into the text and change the size. Maybe this is going to be maybe a bit more. Perhaps you want to make it bold and so on. Now, this is the wrong way of doing it. If you want to make your website consistent and super fast, you need to use what are known as presets. So this is where you'd go in and set your font once. So as your website is loading the pages, it's only loading one instance. Because in this case, as you can see, it's loading up the first size of the text and then on the next, um, it's going to load up the different size of the font size and so on. So if you have so many instances of different ways you're setting up your text, this is going to make your website slow. So what I'm suggesting now is you'd come over here to the top. If this is going to be, let's say your paragraph text, you'd come over here to the top and then you create a new preset from current styles like that. And then you can just name this. So you can say maybe this is my um, paragraph. Okay, so now you've noticed that I've added a paragraph. I can now save this and then save it one more time. Now, if I need to add another uh, bunch of text, I can just come back over here. Let's say I want to click here on this plus button. Now, I want you to notice what happens now when I uh, add this. So I'm going to add my text and notice that the size hasn't changed. So, but if I come over here now to my preset and then choose my paragraph, notice that this now has changed. Now, what you can also do is you can set this as the default. So every time you add your paragraph text, this doesn't change. Now, not only can you do this with text, you can also do this with all the DV modules. So this makes your website super, super fast. Try it out, guys. Let's move on to the next part. The next part is hosting. So not every hosting out there is the same uh, because some companies, they invest so much into the hosting technology. So for example, uh, with uh, let's say SiteGround, I mean, they've done so much work to make their hosting super fast. Now, if you're a SiteGround user, the good news is SiteGround is also optimized to make DV fast out of the box. Now, imagine that. This is super amazing. So if you want to build super fast websites, SiteGround is the way to go. So I use SiteGround and I also use a company called Cloudways. Now, Cloudways is also optimized to work with DV. So these are the two that I have experience with, but... Um, if you want to make your website super fast, you want to make sure that you invest enough into a very good hosting company because without a very good hosting company, all these other things that we're talking about to optimize your website, they're not going to really work if your server is slow. Okay, so let's move on to the third thing and this is caching, okay? So let me show you how to do this. So for this now, you need to get out of uh, your um, builder. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. So now let's talk about caching. So this is also very, very important. It helps you makes your uh, it helps makes your website super fast. So the plugin that I use is called Lightspeed. So I'm going to come over here to my installed plugins and I'll show you what the plugin looks like. Now this plugin is absolutely free, and here it is. It's called Lightspeed Cache. So once you install it, you you get this entry here on the top. So at any point, if you're making any updates, you can purge all the cache and so on. And you can also come over here to the settings. It has quite a lot of uh, settings, but by default, everything is on. So what I normally do is I just install it and I just run it, okay? It's pretty straightforward. So you can see here, you can cache for logged in users. But if there is any reason why you want to do, the, do this for um, users that are not logged in, you can just come over here and switch it off. And these are all the options that you have. Now, if you're doing, uh, let's say, things like uh, funnels, you may need to uh, exclude certain pages from the cache. And this is where you can also uh, come in and do this. Now, it's very, very advanced and it is super easy to use as well. So you can see here, there's so many items to go in and adjust depending on uh, what your website needs. Now, when I come over here, I know I mentioned the hosting before. So I want you to take a look at what I have here for funnels to income. Now, this is 
Cloudways, and I highly recommend Cloudways, by the way. This is what I use as well as a hosting company. So here they have a built-in CDN. So you can come over here and you can see here I have Cloudflare. And also, I have SSL certificate. So SSL is also very important because if you're going to making you're going to be making transactions on your website, this needs to be there by default. But this all comes in with the hosting, which makes it super super easy. Now let's move on to the next part, and this part is also very very important. Okay, so the next part is images. So what makes a website look beautiful? definitely is the images. But if you don't optimize your images, it doesn't matter how fast your server is and how you're optimizing your caching and all that, it is going to be slow because what you're uploading is going to be a file which needs to load up very, very slowly. So what you need to do when it comes to images is to optimize them. So there's two ways to optimize these. So you can go into your software that you use for um, reducing the image size and so on and optimize it there like Photoshop does this, but there's also other services like um, where you can just upload your image. And once you upload it, it spits out a smaller version of the image. Now that is also very, very good because then you can just uh, drag all your optimized images and add them onto your website. There's also another feature here on Lightspeed Cache. So there's image optimization. So this is where you can go in here into the setting. And in the setting here, you can optimize your uh, image. First of all, you can come over here to image settings and optimize your sizes, original images. So you can say optimize images and save backups as original in the same folder. If you want to do that, you can switch this to on. But the most important thing is to just make sure that your images are um, reduced size. So you don't want to have massive images uh, on your website. This will definitely take a toll on um, your uh, website speed. So make sure that you optimize your images before you use them on your website. If you make them smaller and optimize them, this is fantastic. Let's move on to the next part and that is your fonts. Now the fonts on your website need to be installed on your actual website because if you call these fonts from let's say uh, Google, you can imagine what's happening here. You are going to now request the font from Google as well as the time your website is loading, making this very, very slow. So the ideal way to do this is to install the fonts that you need to use locally on your website. This definitely helps. Now I want to talk about the bonus tips and that is the actual Divi Builder itself. So if you want to use Divi and you want it to be snappy and super fast, what you need to do is to disable animation. Let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to come over here to pages and just go to any page because to access this, I need to go to actual page. So I'm going to go into, uh, let's say this home page right here. I'm going to say edit with Divi. So with this open, what you want to do is to come all the way to the bottom here and click on this little icon. And then you want to click on these three little dots here. So what you want to do here immediately is to disable interface animations. I mean, it's not even necessary for this. So any animations that you have on your website, this is going to pretty much uh, make this um, quite slow. So by default, this is activated, it's on. So I just switch this off. And while we're on animations, I also highly recommend that as you're designing your website, I know it's fancy to have things bouncing, animating and so on. But this is not a good thing because every time you're having animations, you're also going to be loading JavaScript and uh, all this code on your web pages. So if you don't really need the animations, please do without them because that helps your website also load fast. Finally, I want to talk about videos. So if you want to add videos onto your website, I've noticed that uh, some designers actually upload a video onto the media library of Divi or of uh, WordPress. This is not the right way to do it because you are putting a lot of strain on the server. Ideally, what you want to do is to upload the video onto a third party platform like say um, YouTube or even um, say Vimeo if you want a bit more customization. Now, once you do that, it is taking less time to um, load that website as, uh, as compared to the video actually being hosted on your actual website. So these are the things that you need to be aware of when you're hosting your um, websites. Uh, so I mean, the list is there, go through the whole list and just make sure that you check all those uh, things. If you have any more tips, please, uh, please add them in the video description below. I really appreciate that because this will also help others. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, guys, thank you very much. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.